and they're off racing in this the Golden Gate Handicap first race on day three of Royal Ascot and well away was a Grand Rock in the green jacket now taken out very wide early as Yoshimi possibly seeking better ground on the inside Tritonic coming through in the maroon sleeves Cepheus is close up Gala side HMS president over racing in about fifth or sixth place further back then to Maori Knight in the red and white checks acquitted as they run down into Swinley bottom Tom Collins around the inside then global storm is further back in the first godolphin colors uh, then hypothetical driving up the inside of global storm highland chief is well back from bronze river and yaha yati emerging out of swinley bottom now and on towards the three-quarter mile marker and it's grand rock and young kieran fallon that leads the way to yashimi in second tritonic in the hands of champion jockey ashi murphy in third then gala side round the inside of cepheus followed by maori knight and hms president Tom Collins around the inside running rail. Global Storm still a bit worse than midfield. Uh, also acquitted who's caught on the outside. Hypothetical still back in the field as well from Highland Chief Bronze River and in the red cap on the inside Yahi Yati. So still Grand Rock who's made it all so far as they now run past the four furlong marker. Grand Rock by a length and a half to Yoshimi in second place. In third then on the inside Tritonic tracked by Cepheus. Gala side and then behind these Highland Chief trying to pick up from the back with HMS President and Maori Knight and round the inside is Tom Collins. They turn for home and Grand Rock leads by a couple of lengths and if anything kicking away a bit from Yoshimi in second place. Tritonic trying to stay on in third. Cepheus, not many have got into this. Grand Rock still leads the way over on the far side. Yoshimi giving chase with Tritonic then Cepheus, HMS President, Highland Chief begins to burn down the outside. Grand Rock enters the final furlong. Can he hold on? They're now at attacking Tritonic Highland Chief and Global Storm from the rear as well Tritonic and Highland Chief now doing best Global Storm fighting on well and on the near side is Highland Chief who defies top weight to win from Tritonic tight for third between Global Storm and the rallying HMS president and the longtime leader Grand Rock probably fading into fifth or sixth and they're off racing for the Warford and Stakes. Foxtail away well towards the near side, probably leads early on for, with uh, Forest Ranger in the noseband for company and now just going ahead of Foxtail. Handy in the white cap is Mountain Hunter, out wide is Prince IG in yellow. The leading quartet attracted by Dream Castle and then rubbing up the inside running rail is Walk in the Sand alongside the red jacketed Regal Reality. Mountain Angel is further back from Cross Batten, Frankie in the pink cap, extra Extra elusive towards the back, Sir Dragon A being anchored towards the rear, along with King Ottokar and finally Cockalorum. Swinging right handed and beginning the climb now, passing the seven furlong marker. And Forest Ranger by a half length to Prince IG. Foxtail on the inside a little keen, followed then on the outer by Mountain Hunter. A walk in the sand remains in fifth place from Dream Castle, making headway on the outside. Quite rapid headway is crossed Batten in that pink cap. Further back, Mountain Angel. And then Regal Reality, followed next by Sir Dragon A and Extra Elusive King Otto Car Cockalorum. Quite well grouped together now with Forest Ranger still just heading the field as they race on towards the final four and a half furlongs in the Wolferton. And it's Forest Ranger from Prince IG. In third is Foxtel, hasn't really dropped his head. Out wider then is Mountain Hunter, Cross Batten. And then behind these is Dream Castle, Walk in the Sand on the inside, Regal Reality. And then Mountain Angel, Extra Elusive, no move yet from just Dragon A. And right out the back, King Ottokar and Cockalorum still well grouped together in Inside the three as they swing the corner. Prince AG looms up on the outside of Forest Ranger, puts his nose in front. Fox Tal and then Mountain Hunter. Pull very wide, Regal Reality, then Dream Castle running on his Mountain Angel on the far side. Prince AG leads the way. Mountain Angel catching the eye on the far side, chased by Fox Tal, then Extra Elusive and Regal Reality and Sir Dragon A on the extreme right. Prince AG is headed now by Mountain Angel. Well inside the final furlong, Regal Reality and Sir Dragon and they both running on well but running out and racing as they race to the line a mountain angel clear so dragon a snatches second probably just ahead of regal reality extra elusive and prince ag on the far side
And they're off, racing away. Monarch of Egypt just a little bit slower than the others, leaving the stalls. Lord of the Lodge quickly into stride. Leads by a couple of lengths now, almost joined by King of Athens on the near side. Racing apart on this uh, stand side in the Silver Silks is King Leonidas in the hands of Frankie de Tori. They're trapped by above in the Claret Jacket and Mystery Power. The all blue of final song on the stand side, the near side, far side Mystery Power with Ropey Guest and Mr. Snowden alongside fellow Grey Ventura Lightning and then Symbolize. Celestan is second last and Monarch of Egypt is two or three lengths detached. Lord of the Lodge from King of Athens, a half length between them. In third, King Leonidas, followed by Above and then Mystery Power. Malatham on the far side, final song on the near side. They're chased by Ropey Guest. Celestan is beginning to make some progress towards the far side in the grey jacket with the maroon uh, emblem on the cap. They're followed by Symbolize. Further back, Mr. Snowden trying to get through and Monarch of Egypt is beginning to run on now, switched on the extreme left. A very open looking race as they run towards the final furlong and a half and it's now Malatham that comes through in the blue and white. Monarch of Egypt delivering a, a great run from the rear of the field. They're chased by King Leonidas and final song down the near side inside the final furlong. Monarch of Egypt on the far side of Malatham. Monarch of Egypt and Malatham, they go stride for stride, neck and neck up towards the line. Malatham near side of Monarch of Egypt, Malatham. From Monarch of Egypt, symbolised running home well in third on the near side and Ropey Guest in fourth. And they're off for the Chesham Stakes. A stiff test today over seven furlongs for these two-year-olds. And Golden Flame bounces out well on the near side, March Law. Uh, they are a length and a half in advance of Clarendon Cross in the white jacket. Battleground is close up in blue and orange on the far side, Modern News. And further back to Bright Devil and Seattle Rock. And First Profit in the noseband is just towards the back alongside Seattle Rock. As now March Law comes through to lead definitively by a length and a half. On the left-hand side, that group headed by Golden Flame from Modern News. And they're tracked by Battleground, Bright Devil and Seattle Rock. On the right, March Law, the overall leader, tracked by Clarendon Cross and First Profit. Now they're racing on towards the final three furlongs. So they're past the halfway stage in the Chesham, uphill all the way. And it's March Law, Golden Flame is nudged along, Modern News on the far side, tracked by Battleground on the extreme left, Bright Devil now being pulled out for a possible challenge, chasing hard Seattle Rock from Clarendon Cross and First Profit hanging a little as they race on now inside the final furlong and a half. March Law is now ridden hard. Coming through his battleground with a strong challenge. They're followed by Golden Flame and Seattle Rock from the rear of the field. Battleground just edging into the lead from on the near side. March Law and Seattle Rock running on strongly but veering off a street, true line. Up towards the line is Battleground and Ryan Moore for Aidan O'Brien. Goes on to win the Chesham. March Law second. Seattle Rock back in third and probably Golden Flame in fourth. And they're off and Mekong has dwelt badly in the stores as they set off on their two and a half mile journey in the 2020 Gold Cup. And Naif Road on the inside, just about the leader with withhold for company in the blue with the white seams. Tracked in a white cap by Moonlight Spirit, Prince of Aaron is wider out. And then tucking in is Stradivarius, followed by the grey technician, a gap back to cross counter. And then the slow starter, Mekong, as they race through the first two and a half furlongs and uh, approach the stands, the long run to the stands. And it's Naif Road from Withhold, followed by Prince of Aaron and Stradivarius together, just uh, behind Moonlight Spirit. Technician is back in sixth place in seventh, then cross counter. And finally, Mekong. So Naif Road and Ryan Moore setting the pace here to uh, withhold and Jason Watson in second. Moonlight Spirit, William Buett back in third place, Prince of Aaron, Melbourne Cup runner-up, Andrea Atzini in fourth place, Stradivarius bidding to win this race for the third year running in the hands of Frankie de Tour in the black jacket with the yellow cap, also bidding for a four-timer at Royal Ascot, having won the Queen's Vars in 2017. Further back is Technician. 
Under Oshim Murphy, the champion jockey, cross counter, past Melbourne Cup winner James Doyle is second last, and last of all is Mekong and Jim Crowley. They pass in front of the stands, and there's about 10 to 12 lengths first to last. Nayef Road by three quarters of a length to withhold. In third is Moonlight Spirit. In fourth, Prince of Aaron. A length and a half then to Stradivarius, as the leader Nayef Road just runs a little off the fence there. Uh, behind Stradivarius Technician, and they are followed by Cross Counter and Mekong. About to pass the mile and a half starting point, the King George starting point. So they've gone a mile in the Gold Cup and racing off the rail down the centre as they make the long run downhill towards Swinley Bottom. And Nayef Road out in front held together from Withhold in second. Two lengths away to Moonlight Spirit. Another length and a half to Prince of Aram. Three lengths then to Stradivarius, followed by Technician. And the last two are still Cross Counter and Mekong, but they're well strung out on the soft ground here. It's been raining all day. It's only just abated. Nayef Road and Withhold getting momentum going down the hill, and they've kicked away from the others. Moonlight Spirit is third. Then Prince of Aaron. Stradivarius must be a good 10 lengths behind the two leaders. Then Technician, followed by Cross Counter and Mekong. About to run now inside the final mile and into the bottom right-hand turn. And there'll be a good 15 lengths first to last. And it's Nayef Road and Withhold who continue to apply the pressure. Three lengths back to Moonlight Spirit. Prince of Aaron, Stradivarius. This is going to be a real test. Technician further back from Mekong and Cross Counter. Inside the final seven furlongs now. And it's pretty much uphill from here on in. And Nayef Road still off the fence from in second place, Withhold. Three lengths to Moonlight Spirit. In fourth then is Prince of Aaron. Stradivarius just getting a bit closer now up the inside of Prince of Aaron. Technician is following Stradivarius all the way. Mekong and no move from Cross Counter and James Doyle at the back of the field. They're a bit closer bunched together now. Nayef Road and Withhold still out clear, but the others covered by just a handful of lengths. Headed by Moonlight Spirit in third place. Stradivarius following him through. Then out wide is Prince of Aaron. Technician and then Mekong and Cross Cross counter, they begin to turn right-handed now with three and a half furlongs left to cover. And still Nayef Road and withhold, chased by Moonlight Spirit. Stradivarius into fourth and Frankie Dottori having a look round there. He's looking pretty confident as they swing the corner and now pulling wide Stradivarius. Chased by Mekong and then Technician and Prince of Aaron struggling and cross counter and out in front Nayef Road. But here comes Stradivarius absolutely cruising along, breezing along on the broad. In third place, Moonlight Spirit. In fourth, then is Withhold from Cross Counter. And now Frankie says go on Stradivarius. And it's an immediate response. And he quickens right away from Nayef Road. Six lengths, eight lengths. He's going to be ten lengths. He's going to absolutely street them. The best stayer in the world, Stradivarius. Three Gold Cups clear of Nayef Road. In third, Cross Counter. And Withhold fourth. And they're off, racing away. Kondratiev wave very quickly away on the near side with Overright and Harrison Point and Toro strike and Eshazi in a black cap. On the far side is Shared Belief, probably uh, leading or disputing the lead with Overright. Uh, tracking Shared Belief is he's a keeper with Path of Thunder in a white cap. And then behind those, Amazement and All You Wish. Dubai Mirage in a red cap in that far side group as well with Starcat and Cherokee Trail at the back of that pack. Uh, towards the centre over right, Spearhead's uh, Eshazi and World Title in the darker grey. Finest Sound just tracking over right in the yellow black spots, followed by Sun Power, Great Ambassador further back, Las Vegas. And then uh, Toro Strike as well, just behind Eshazi, still in the firing line. And Kondrati gave a wave uh, up with them, still in the green and yellow jacket, nudged, nudged along now from Harrison Point. And Kalusi is tracking those. And then Enemy. So heading down now towards the final three furlongs and uh, out in the centre over right probably the leader finest sound coming there strongly uh, they're followed by a Shazi Harrison point Kondraty away look to the right Kalusi is cruising along at the moment in Sheikh Hamdan's first colours over right finest sound Kalusi on the stand side doing very well indeed just beginning to hang though hanging right handed towards finest sound they're clear now of over right Toro strike tries to run on with great ambassador but Kalusi well 
he may have hung across the track, but he's way too good for them. Kalusi is three, four lengths clear of finer sound and racing up towards the line. Another for Roger Verin, the stable on fire. Jim Cullet, Kim, Jim Crowley in the saddle, winning the Britannia. Finer sound in second, tight third. Cherokee Trail on the far side, enemy on the near side, followed by Toro Strike and Overwrite. And they're off. And Sofika just restrained, leaving the stalls by Ryan Moore. Bounding on is Dubai Love in the blue colours of Godolphin. Declared interest over on the far side in red sleeves. Mrs. Upjohn is chasing Dubai Love with towards the near side Al Razmar, then Odyssey Girl. On the far side in the uh, blue and white striped cap, that's Habur, who's very handy, uh, followed by Tiritomba over there and also by Separate and Alabama Whitman. A little group uh, developing on this near side with Al Razmar still leading those to Kalsara, African Dream held up third in the group from Wally Akin at the back, Sofika Night Colors is towards the rear over on the far side along with Onassis. Heading on down this long straight course then and passing the four and a half furlong point from the finish for Godolphin. Dubai Love from Declared Interest over on the far side, Mrs. Upjohn and then her boar. The grey Odyssey girl is getting a little closer from Tiru Tomba. This near side, Al Razmar from African Dream in the red with the green cap. The well handicapped favourite, Kalsara's on the right, Waliak. Safika is behind these, behind the group on the far side. Night Colours, Alabama Whitman, Onassis still held up, a pretty open looking race African Dream coming under pressure now and just beginning to lug away to the right and it's still Dubai Love that leads over on the far side from Odyssey Girl Waliak doing very well on this near side as they race onto the final foot and now Onassis who lay right out the back is being delivered with a stunning run by Haley Turner on the far side Onassis from Dubai Love Waliak declared interest in Habur and then Tiritomba lovely ride this Onassis comes clear to win Haley Turner the head turner wins the Sandringham. Waliak on the near side of Dubai Love declared interest doing pretty well far side. Tiritomba in the centre.